Hi, my name is Keith Littlewood and I'm going to be discussing fine needle aspiration or fine needle aspiration cytology, commonly known as FNAC. Uh, FNAC is really a cheap and effective assessment for ruling out malignancy or cancer of the thyroid tissues. Thyroid nodules are predominantly benign, but to investigate any suspicion of cancer, FNAC is the preferred form of screening. So now let's take a look at the process of FNAC. During checkups, incidentally, or for specific investigation for illness, thyroid nodules are often found. Their findings, as you can see from here from the slide, according to this particular research paper, are found by palpation, where the clinician manually locates a thyroid nodule, or by specific assessment using ultrasound, or as suggested by the benign nature of thyroid nodules found in autopsies. In the picture on the left, you can see uh, an ultrasound of the thyroid gland as it wraps around the trachea in the throat. Uh, ultrasound assessment has been used to assist in the process of thyroid nodule diagnosis and is also used during FNAC to guide the needle for specimen collection. The US classification can be seen here on the right hand side of the slide and as a rule of thumb most classifications of US 1 and 2 are benign and generally require little follow up unless the clinician is highly suspicious of malignancy or there are significant risk factors such as uh, 40 years above of age or below 10 years of age previous exposure to radiation, being male in sex, youth thyroid status, cervical lymph nodes, or a family history. Previously, uh, the nodule size was, was thought to be a suggestion of malignancy, but there's been significant research that suggests that this generally isn't the case. Between the classifications of um, U3 to U5, there is a suspicion or co confirmation of malignancy, which needs to be followed up with FNAC. Here we can see the location of the thyroid and the placement of the needle. Uh, generally what happens is the practitioner will clean the skin and depending on the clinician's preference uh, they will either administer a local anaesthesia or they may use an ice bag placed over the nodule. This is often because uh, an extra needle going into the tissue may irritate or upset the, upset the patient. Um, generally what the, happens next is the mass is held by the clinician um, and then the needle which is attached to the syringe is inserted into the tumour. Once the needle is in the mass, suction is applied and the needle is moved appropriately to gather specimen for analysis. The needle is then withdrawn and then the specimen contained which is immediately analysed. Here we can see a nice real-time image of the dual use of ultrasound guided uh, fine needle aspiration and we can see the needle going through the anterior neck uh, uh, musculature into the thyroid gland itself and into the suspicious thyroid nodule. Here we can see the five types of uh, thyroid classification which we'll elaborate on by breaking these uh, classifications down. Thy1 is classified as non-diagnostic. This can often be due to a poorly taken sample or inadequate tissue for analysis and therefore a repeat follow-up will often be ordered. Thy2 is non-neoplastic, therefore the tissue is often well defined within the thyroid tissue, the colloid of the thyroid, or maybe a process of thyroid dysfunction, as we can often see in a, in a condition such as thyroid toxicosis. Thy3 is a little trickier. It suggests a possible neoplasm and suspicious of malignancy or cancer, and therefore is to investigate further, it's subdivided into a classification of Thy3A. This is often atypical but cannot suggest the states associated with malignancy or there may be an inability to differentiate between the different types of thyroid cancer. Also, sometimes the classification of Thy3A may also be due to ineffective sampling. Thy3F is when a follicular neoplasm is suggested. The next phase is a discussion between a multidisciplinary team and a subsequent lobe or hemithyroidectomy to determine the histology or the microanatomy of the tissue to make a diagnosis. Thy4 is a suspicious of malignancy, but it's still not definitive. Usually the clinician will make a note of their suspicions and additional follow-ups will be made again uh, that may include a lobectomy of the thyroid gland to, to ascertain the tissue health. Thy5 is a clear diagnosis of malignancy, which often indicates the following cancers. Papillary thyroid cancer, which is... Uh, by far the most common form of thyroid cancer, followed by medullary thyroid cancer, follicular, anaplastic and lymphomas. Here we can see the uh, British Thyroid Association guidelines and a flowchart that kind of lists all the processes that we talked about, um, suggesting the appropriate medical intervention or therapeutic surgery that might be necessary. 
And here are the associated references from this talk. I hope you've enjoyed my talk on fine needle aspiration. Thank you very much.